<clears throat> hi Mary, hi Clint, hi Debbie. Hi guys. What you guys all up to? Where did I put my coffee? Oh gosh. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. I brought it. Just left it out of my reach. How are you guys? I'm just... My goal is to get this quilt finished today. Whether it takes me eight hours, I'm going to finish it because I don't want to start another quilt tomorrow and still have this. Just call you old and cranky. Why? <laughs> oh, that's good. Your package got shipped today, Clint. So just so you know, it's in the mail for you. And there's lots of surprises in there for you. Well, I'm not going to call you old and cranky, Mary. You're not old and cranky. I'm probably just as old as you. And cranky too. I have cranky days. Believe me, we all get those. Old or young. I've seen cranky young people too. So, can't really blame it on being old. <laughs> oh, hey. Yes, we had fun talking to you too, Clint. Me and Patsy had a blast. I decided I'm no longer pinning this. The only ones I'm going to pin are the first two blocks because those have to stay put. So I can just work, you know... Pinning takes too long, and it's a pain in my ass. So I decided not to do pinning. So I'm just going to hold the piece, put it over here at the machine, and pray it so straight. You can tell I'm in a bit of a hurry to get this done, but I want to get this quilt top put together today. If it takes me all day, I'm getting it done. Good morning, Paula. I'm doing my packing today. Packing? Where are you going, Deb? And I'm really sorry about the noise last night, Mary. That, that wasn't anyone on my panel. Hi, Sharon. It was my sister rumbling through bags because she was looking for some quilt blocks. She didn't know what to make. So she was doing some cleanup and trying to find quilt blocks of what she wants to make. So I apologize for any noise that you guys hear in the background and you think it's someone on the panel, but it's real. it really was not. Kathy was the only one on the panel last night and she was muted because she was sewing, so. Other than to talk, she unmutes. But it was it was my background noise. And I'm really sorry about that, Mary. Sometimes I just can't, you know, get away from that background noise. I don't know how to get rid of it. So please, please forgive me and bear with me on that. It was not Patsy. Oh, I love Pat. It was Patsy, believe me. She was irritating everyone, not just you. <laughs> there was no one else on my panel. There was just me. Me and Kathy and Die Die. She came on for a bit, but she went back off because she had to go out. Or no, she had to take a phone call long distance. So, and she never come back on until whew, way later. 16, 17. I guess I'm on 18, but it was Patsy. I went back and listened to the video, and all that noise that you heard was her. 
And she was so sorry about it. But yeah, she was making lots of noise. Oh, shoot. Hello, my little baby girl. Are you coming in here with me? Miss Pitter Patter. Holy cow. Talk about so straight. Hey. <laughs> I don't really care. I just want to get these done. I'm tired of doing them. I'm not enjoying this at all. I'll be glad when I'm done. Oh, don't worry about it, Mary. Don't worry. So, Debbie said, they are redoing the ceilings in my house, so I will be out of the house for a week and a half. Oh, my gosh. But just think how beautiful your ceilings will look. That's for sure. Yep, I'm not leaving my craft room until this quilt is done. The top. I'm done. I'm done piddling with it. I'm done procrastinating. I'm done thinking about do I want to do it today? Do I want to? No, I don't. Because my answer will always be no, I don't. <laughs> So let's just get rid of this. I know it's going to be super beautiful when it's done. It's just I need to get my ass in gear and get it done. Oh, thanks. Thanks for making me go crooked. Like I don't go crooked on my own already. So yeah. Um let me count, Mary. You know that's going to de depress me. <laughs> it's going to depress me when I find out how many I have left. I either have 7 or 8 left. Oops. I don't quite remember which one this was. I did one this morning while I was waiting for time to lapse. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. That's what I have left. Kaka. Kaka, kaka. And then I have all the four patch border to finish. And then all the sashing to sew on and the cornerstones because I am putting cornerstones in the sashing I decided that last night because I just think the cornerstones are gonna look so pretty in it. when you do sat ah shit this is why you pin Ruby shit when you do sashings and you put cornerstones in, I think it just looks super beautiful. And it really separates out that ugly, boring sashing. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to cut the sashing that I already have and cut it into the strips so they fit across. So I can put cornerstones in there. And I'm thinking if I have lots of white left over, I'm just going to cut these because they're the same size, I think, as the sashing. <clears throat> I don't know, though. I'll better check. That way I'm not wasting any of these white fabrics that I uh, cut out.
Okay. Two more on this block. see what thickness that's the inner border sashing is on the bottom of course so let me let, let me check oh this might be the perfect size oh it is so I can just cut these in half <laughs> perfect <clears throat> so that white will look really nice with the purple it'll really make that sashing pop and I just think cornerstones, cornerstones always, always look so pretty. So why not? Hi, Christy F. Oh, really? Did Sharon, you couldn't chat? Good morning, BJ. Good morning, Diane. So, like I was saying before, all you lovely people joined me. I was saying I am not leaving my craft room today until this quilt top is put together and done. And like I said, I don't care if it takes me 10, 12 hours. I'm getting it done. I don't want to start another quilt. I don't want to start another quilt and still have this one hanging over my head. And I know it's going to be beautiful. So I have seven quilt blocks, seven blocks left to do. I am, I'm quite excited now because we're getting down to the bare, bare minimum. That is awesome. Where did I put my ruler? Right here. That is so awesome. I'm so excited to get them done. Seven more to do, guys. I honestly, honestly don't know how Kathy can sit here and make 120 of these blocks. I, God bless her, because I sure as the hell could never do it. I don't like doing this kind of piecing. It takes too long probably worth it when it's all done but still it takes too long for my liking there's another one complete hi add it to the pile and plus i have to take all the papers off for those <laughs> i don't even have the hi yvonne oh thank you for the go ruby go go ruby go i'm doing it diane i'm gonna do it if it's the last thing I do, I'm doing it. Very, very much so. Okay, what happened to my little white corners? Or my little white triangles? And they are right here. They got buried. Alright, I need a white triangle. And I need a new... That's a spare... And I need a new set of colors. And I need two pins. Because I have to put a pin in this middle block only. So, I'm just going to guess it's right. Looks pretty straight to me. Doesn't it look straight to you guys? <laughs> I will find out in about two seconds when I hold this up to the light. And it's perfect. Good enough. It's so good enough. So did you guys enjoy? Hi, Karen. Stop complaining. Hey. You shut up. Karen's being mean to me, guys. Telling me not to complain. And that's something I do really good. 
That's something the best I think I ever do is complain and whine and boohoo and a little bit of, you know, cussing. Ta-da! That's the only one I'm going to pin. The first one. The rest of them can kiss my grits. I'm going to stick these pins in my ironing board right there. Because now I don't be needing them. Karen, you're mean! I got to meet Clint's sister, who is very, very sweet like him. And her name is Erin Hedges. She is so cute. She is so, so cute. She was telling me of her happenings. So cute. So, this is where we don't pin now, okay? She says, I know. Oh, well, I'm glad you know this, Karen. I'm really glad you know that you're mean. See, it still sews without you pinning it. Hey. I don't know I just I don't know I, I guess this is got to be something you know like food you got to acquire a taste for stuff or you know things just grow on you this is not growing on me <laughs> not something. and I will whine about it Karen stencil you just leave me alone and let me whine I only have six more left to do after this one And then we could sew this like this again. Mm -hmm. I thought I did it, straightened it, but I guess not. And I couldn't understand my thread cutter was not cutting my bobbin thread. So I pulled my bobbin thread out to find out what in God's name was going on with it. And I put my bobbin, my bobbin thread came right out of the bobbin. I don't even know how it was sewing these. I think it's too monotonous for you, Ruby. Yes. No feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> well, at least Mary does. You just hush over there, Karen. Oh, boy. Hang on. Hang on, guys. I don't know what this number is. I'm not answering it. I think it's my aunt. Ay, ay, ay. Six, yeah, I believe it is. Oh boy. I've been meaning to get over to see her. Uh, yeah, I know. It's my aunt. It has to be. Um, nope, nope, and nope. Call. Answer, Karen. I said, answer, Karen. Hey, don't you start. I just woke up. What are you doing just waking up? Well, I'm just waking up. How are you feeling, though? I'm okay. Good. I'm okay. Good, good. Are you almost done? Am I almost done what? This quilt? Complaining? No. <laughs> what do you mean? 
Hi, Kathy. Kathy, Karen won't let me whine about my quilt. Look. She's being very mean to me. Well, guess what? I only have six more after this. I know, and I'm not leaving my craft room till this quilt top is done. Period. Done. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to be a while. I am telling you, I'm not leaving till it's done. I've, that's my goal. I'm fed up. I'm fed up of procrastinating about it, so I'm just yeah, going to get them, done. yep, get it off your yep, then I don't mind starting and then having those other quilts on the go, I don't mind that, but then I don't have to lose sleep at night. <laughs> Are you working on yours, Kathy? Yes, I am. Of course you are. Little speed demon. Well, I know you're going to be making a farmer's wife quilt. Yes, Karen, that's what I did. What did you do? She did it. I'm going to have to save for that pattern papers you are using, Ruby. Hi, Erin. And Debbie, these pattern papers are not really expensive, but I'm giving you full warning. You're going to get bored with this. And please tell me you're not making a king-size quilt like the professional Kathy is. No, they're not expensive, the papers. You can get them in a 12-inch block. Have fun with that. Oh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't do a 12-inch block if you paid me. I wouldn't make the 12-inch. Not in a million years. I don't even like doing this little 6-inch baby. I can't imagine what it would be like for me to do it 12. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure there's a lot more piecing than what it is in a 6 inch. Unless the pieces are much bigger, but I doubt it. I don't know. There could be more piecing. On this one, there's 25 pieces. I can imagine what it is on a 12. It's got to be more than 25. It just has to be. I'm going to go look. Oh, you're going to go look. Okay. There you go. I got my new iron, guys. I got my new iron. It Is will it probably still working? I got a feeling it will, Diane. So <laughs> I got a feeling it will be a super beautiful quilt. It's just... Just getting my patience to finish it. Like I want somebody to slap me upside the head and say, get her done now. And you're not leaving your craft room till it's done. Oh, wait, I did do that to myself. I already promised that, see? <laughs> I already promised it. All right. We're on a roll. We're ready to rumble. Okay. Yeah, I didn't like their deal of the day yesterday. It was a, a tumbler ruler template. Yeah. I, I don't think I'll ever make that. 
not a big fan of uh, making a cup shaped quilt. I don't remember. Oh, embroidering? And oh. that tumbler makes the perfect um, flower pot. Oh, okay, yeah, that would make a good flower pot. Never thought of that. Ooh. What is it? Oh, has it got gingham in it? So I can even sew all my blocks together without peeling the paper off of them. Did you guys know that? You don't have to peel. You can peel. What? Why do you use the paper sandwich? Because you don't want to peel How are you going to piece it without the papers? No, I meant sew the blocks together silly cats oh. <laughs> yeah oh so they're just bigger strips then correct yeah have fun i ain't making that oh no 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 i'm having a problem doing 42 pieces can you imagine me doing uh 42 quilt blocks all right, I am on number 16. I'll have to call my aunt back after I get off of being live. I think so, yeah. And she likes to talk, so I can't rush her off the phone because she's she talks about everything. Yeah, and she's your aunt. I know, I will call her back. And plus I have all this stuff here that I made for her. That me and Patsy need to go drop off. My mom's sister, the youngest. Oh. Yeah. She looks just like my mother. Yep. might sew these all together and tear the paper off later <clears throat> the only thing is is I'll have to sew it at 1.5 inch stitch which is fine no big deal but, yep I'm not pinning them because it's too it wastes too much time oops that did not cut. But it did now. Well, Debbie, I wish you lots of luck if you want to make these. Again, they're boring. This gets boring. 
and most of them, when they make their quilt, when they do these, these uh, pineapple blocks, they do them um, different colors. Every single strip that they put on is a different color. Oh, shoot. Every single strip. Like I'm doing four on one, like I'm doing like this. I'm putting four of the same pieces on each row and then the white row and then four blue, then the white row, then the darker and the white on the outside. When they do these colored rows, they usually put one color, different color, different color, different color. That's, that's how you do a pineapple quilt if you want. I chose to do it different. I didn't like it. All scrappy, unorganized like that. So I had to... Um, I had to change it up and do it that way. But in the book, it shows it as all different colors. Yeah, it shows it. I'll show you the, the picture. Did I run out of thread? I sure did. But in the book, it shows it. If you look, see how every block is a different color? Mine don't look like that because I have each row I kept the same color. See, like this one here has got a, a black, a pink, a green, and an orange. I didn't like that look. I liked it this way. So what I did is I started on the inner. This is how I planned this out. I started with the inner of it being light and the outer being dark. And the next block I made was dark with the light being on the out. Do you see the difference on how my quilt's going to look? So it's going to look pretty. But that's how I my goal was. I did one dark, one light in the middle and just worked. And then I did a medium. All my mi middles are mediums. Like that's the medium. That, well, that, yeah, dark, medium, light. Um, that's supposed to be a light, but I know I ran out of lights. So I did a, a light here just to change it up. And then we did dark, medium, light, medium, light, dark, medium, light, dark, no light, medium, dark. And then like, I just changed them all. I wanted dark, light on the outside, dark on the outside. I wanted the two colors like that. I mean, I got a different, whole bunch of different darks on here. That one's so pretty. The colors are just so pretty. Yeah, I tried to make them all different. Like, look at this one. Wicked cool. So, yeah. That's my goal. Hopefully, I stuck with it. And I really don't want to sit here and peel all this paper off. So I'm just going to sew them together because I remember she said you can sew them. You can sew them together and peel the paper off. Oh, my bobbin didn't run out. Why? You got so many sewn there already, Ruby. Yeah, I need 42. To, to do my whole quilt top. 42 in total. <clears throat> my thread broke. That's what happened. The thread came out. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Cindy. Oh, I said hi to Cindy. Oh, thanks, Debbie. The color palette is beautiful. I do. I love these colors. When I ordered this, that just caught my eye. Those colors are beautiful. I have a question. Yeah? <clears throat> Did you do them from Fat Quarters? Nope. No? Nope. From, I cut Charm Square packs and I cut Jelly Roll. Oh, okay. Yep. Mostly the jelly roll is done with the all these strips here are mostly my jelly roll strips. 
But I cut all of these from charm packs, all my colors. And I had three charm packs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to use um, my shop, not much more than like my belly roll on Saturday. That's sort Yeah, well, that's what we're using on Saturday. But tomorrow I want to get our batting ironed and cut out and my backing ironed and cut out. So I have every, and even my jelly rolls strips i might even give them a little press because i don't want those folds in them because you can't you shouldn't iron them you shouldn't iron them after you've sewed them on to the batting okay, so I need to iron all my strips. if you want you don't have to but i want to because i just don't want my i don't want those folds in them <coughs> and because my strip roll has been sitting for so long like, I haven't even opened it. But I'm doing a Christmas quilt, remember? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, my what? strips, my strips definitely, definitely need to be, and this is, I bought this years ago, guys, so you cannot get this. This has been discontinued. I've already tried. It's called Holiday Flourish. And I bought some of the coordinating fabrics that went with this. But this one here definitely, definitely needs to be ironed. But it is Christmas. Oh, look at this fabric, guys. Honest yeah, to God. Beautiful. Honest to God. Like, I'm excited. It's all silver metallic in it. So it's just, oh, oh it's going to be gorgeous. Like, look. Yeah. Look at this. Look. It is all silver metallic. So this jelly roll, I remember I did get this background. So I do have some of this right here. This is the red with the silver metallic stars. Like this fabric is just gorgeous. And I got the gray because she used gray in a quilt. And I don't remember what quilt she made, why I ordered this. Look at this one. This, oh, I love that. Oh, this one is beautiful with the black, the silver, the gray, and the red. It's just stunning. Actually, I'm going to bring you up closer so you guys can see this. It's just, I I tried to get, I tried so hard to get more of this, and you can't, unfortunately. But it was uh, for our... Uh, Robert Kaufman Fabrics. Okay, yeah, I love him. Holiday Flourish, Silver Color Story, 40 pieces, 2,000, or 2,000, 2.800 yards, includes duplicates. So this one here is, look at this one. Oh my God, I love this one. This is gorgeous. This one here. Oh, I got lots of dupe. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. This fabric is stunning. <laughs> Karen, I'm going to enjoy making my quilt with this. Oh, that is beautiful fabric. I don't blame you at all. Oh, I love the black in it. So oh, like every single every single piece of fabric in this line has the silver metallic in it. It looks sparkly. He makes some of the Oh, hell yeah. Like, look at the, the holly holly berries. They're done with the red, black, gray. Wow. And the silver metallic, of course. Yeah. Oh, this one's gorgeous, oh, too. I love that. This one is... Yeah, yep. This one, beautiful quilt. Mm-hmm. I saved this fabric for... Oh, oh. I love this one. Oh, 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 look at this one. Oh, 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 look. Oh, my God, look. Oh, 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 look at how beautiful with the peppermint sticks. I like that with the celestial, that blue black or whatever that is. Oh, this is too beautiful. 
It's beginning to feel. Oh, oh, that one just got me. <laughs> this one's pretty too. This one's pretty. And this one's so pretty too. And there we got this one in a black. We got that in a red. Oh my goodness, I love this one. I don't know how I'm even going to part with this. How? Lord, give me the way. Show me the way. So there. I'm a, I'm a fabric quarter. Yep, there goes the mouthpiece. He's going to... Hi, Laura. Yes, if you can shop online, maybe you'll get lucky and somebody might have something from their stash. <clears throat> that is this fabric called Holiday Flourish by Robert Kaufman. This came out, oh my God. I bought this, I don't know, a few years ago. So I know it's definitely out of print. But this was one of the most beautiful fabrics I ever seen Missouri Star use. And I'll show you what I got to go with it. These two fabrics right here I ordered with it. Come on. Come on, you bitch. You know. Oh. It's just so heavy. Come on, mommy. I don't have the strength to lift up this big wad of friggin' fabric. Sorry, Come on, you dirty, rotten pig. There we go, it's coming. Uh, got it. Oh, fighting with this. So this is the red. That was part of the Robert Kaufman. This was part of the fabric. And this here gray is the gray she used in a quilt. I don't remember what she made. I wasn't making the quilt. I just wanted the fabric and the colors she used. So she, she, she used this gray background. So I bought, I don't know, quite a bit of this. So this will be my backing. And I might use this for a border. I don't know. I might border my quilt after it's done with this. I love that red. This red is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is my quilt as you go. Um, quilting project. This one here, this particular fabric is in this line. I just want to show you. I just saw it. See, I want to iron these because see how they're like, you'll see this. They're, they're all, look, they're all folded upward like this. You want to iron all that out. Um, I did see it in here. Oh, there it is. It's right here. So this fabric here is in this line and I grabbed it and same with this gray colored fabric. This gray colored fabric is all throughout this gray. Look at this is a, <laughs> I love this one. I just, I wish I'd have seen that. I would have bought the yardage of that, but there, look at how that looks with the gray. So this will be actually my sashing and everything. It's just going to be so pretty. I'm excited with lace on it. <laughs> yep. This quilt is going to be. $85.95, uh, $85.95. Where? Etsy. Oh, someone on Etsy selling it? Yeah. Yep. That's, that's awesome of them. <sighs> I can tell you the exact date I purchased this. And I'm going to go look. It is called Holiday Flourish. Holiday Flourish by Robert Kaufman. And I believe it's way out of print. So let me just make sure though. I don't think it's the same with the 
done something leaven, floor of shalom, and so they, he must have done a different style. Oh, then yeah. Okay, let me just go to my orders. This one's just called Holiday Flourish. Yeah. Because there's a um, Holiday Flourish 12. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, itchy. Um. Okay, that's not it. Nope, that's back when I bought Seth's fabrics. Uh, let's go back one page because I think I went too far. I bought my quilting gloves from there. Uh, let's see. Okay, I bought the Bella Solid in the gray yardage. I bought the Kona White yardage, the Holiday Flourish 9. Silver Color Stay Metallic Roll-Up. And then I bought... Uh, so I need Kona Cotton White yardage, which I purchased. I don't. It doesn't tell me how many yards I bought. Uh, view order. Let me view my order. And this was July 18th, 2016. So four years ago. And I bought seven yards of the gray. Two yards of white. And two yards of this yellow, this red. So I know I need the gray, the white, and the red. So I'm probably going to slip some white in there too. In fact, I might even cut gray and white backings. I might do something different. I might make my backing all a nine patch. A, a, sorry, a four patch. If I make four patch block for my backing, this is, I'm just thinking, if I use the gray and white. So if I put, no, if I done it in two. So if I done the white, there'll be white borders. There will be, all be the gray borders, or I can have all white borders with gray in the middle. I could change that all up. I'm going to figure out something. But yes, this is Holiday Flourish 9, uh, Karen. Okay. So if you guys are looking, look for Holiday Flourish 9, Silver Color Stay, Swirl Red Metallic Yardage, and the Roll Up was this one that you guys see. So yeah, that's the fabrics I ordered and that was on July 18th, 2016. And that at that time was 119.50 American for seven yards of fabric, two yards of the white, two yards of the Holiday Flourish and the Jelly Roll. And the Jelly Roll was 34.95. And it says sold out forever. It is <laughs> Sometimes some companies will, if there's a, a, a need for fabrics, you'll see they say that they will reprint the fabric. This is one, I don't see how they would not reprint this. This is just so. I don't know, but that might be why he's there up to um, 11 and 12 now. Yeah. Oh my God, the Holiday Flourish 12. Wow, it's the same thing basically. Oh my God, it is exactly the same almost. All the colors are the same. Oh my God. I will show people this. They can go have a look at this. It's $72.95 for the, his his bundle. And uh, that's a fat quarter bundle. Wow. The Holiday Flourish, that one is beautiful. So you guys can go check that out. What I just saw. Wow. Stunt. Hi, 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 Rachel. Yeah, guys. Go have a look at that fabric line. 
And if any of you buy it, you better buy me some. <laughs> yeah, it's number nine, Mary. Holiday Flourish 9, it's gone. He's already into the 12. Oh my God, this fabric is just flipping gorgeous. I can't even stress it enough. But I certainly don't want to pay $80 for 12 fat quarters. That would never happen. No, because that's almost $4 a piece. And I ain't paying four dollars a piece for um, a fat quarter size. If anything, I will buy a ten-inch square and a roll-up. That's what I would buy. I wouldn't buy anything but that. If I don't I, see a roll-up for it, even you scroll down, they usually have one other fabric to go with it. Yeah. You know what? Anybody um, go to um, Hancock Fabrics and see if they have it. They most of the fabrics are. Um, Ooh, I don't like that that deal of the day colors. Ew, that's just not my colors. Yeah. You didn't like it either. I don't even like the yellow that's I, in that. Ugh, looks no, like mustard. I it if I did, I don't. Cause twenty one dollars for. Uh, a jelly roll, a full jelly roll is cheap. It is, but it's that's why it's $21, because it's pukey ugly. <laughs> Not my kind of fabric. You're so sweet. <laughs> yeah, I know, thanks, hey. Oh. Normally I can hear you like I hear Ruby right now. I have turned down the panel so it doesn't irritate any more people. Because last night, the panel, something irritated my audience last night. So I just turned down my desktop audio. So, Karen, when you talk, you won't be super loud in it. Hi, Phyllis. Because I've got mine down to, to calm you down. It's all right. I'm good now. And is it ever storming here? Is it? Yes. Lightning no, snowstorm. Oh. Yeah, the, it's so windy. It's so windy right now that your visibility is very, very gone. So, yeah, that's, that's the Holiday Flourish fabric. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. So... If you buy it, you better buy me some too, or I'll be mad at you. But I don't know. I don't. I don't dig paying twelve, seventy-two, seventy-nine dollars for only twelve fat quarters. Whoa, that's a lot. When I paid a hundred and twenty for forty, that's worth it. That's definitely worth it. But not this. And I my iron shut off, of course. What's that? Oh, well, what I saw, I thought it said 12. Oh, I was reading it was 12. Okay, that is not bad. For, it is when it's almost $4 per fat quarter. No. Well, if it's $80, $80 at 20 and you get the panel, that's that's a good deal. I'd like, I'd like to see that. Well, I here our our fat quarters are seven something at our fabric store. 
And I would never pay that for a stinking fat quarter, ever. But, I don't know, with fat quarters, you can do a lot. You can cut 10-inch squares from them. You can cut strips from them. You, you know, you've got a lot of yardage there. So, I don't know. I would probably dig the fat quarters if there was 20 of them. Or 19, anyway. And to me, that's a good deal because you're dealing with the metallic fabrics. And those are always more expensive. Yeah. Well, how much would you pay for a fat quarter? Where do you find them for that price? That's what I paid for oh right right did you get those in yet do you like them Doesn't this look right to me? Well, she can't turn it off, Sharon. Apparently, people will complain. Yeah, sorry, I'm not turning it up. That way, the background noise will be very, very limited. Well, I always mute myself. You know that. No, but I'm just saying, I don't know what was going on last night, so. If I turn the desktop volume down, um, mm -hmm. they won't get that that loud hearing every little move going on in the backgrounds. So I don't I just don't want to annoy people like that anymore. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Sharon, I can't turn it up. Tia, I hear you in here. Why aren't you in your box? But anyway, that, that quilt along is going to be gorgeous. So gorgeous. Uh, with that red quilt fabrics. Oh, red Christmas fabrics. Uh, so you're not going to cut again. Don't start this. Don't know why it's acting up my cutter. I don't. But it's been giving me havoc all morning. I even had to go to Juki Junkies to find out what's going on with it. Someone said, well, are you using thick thread? And I'm like, I'm using 50 weight normal cotton thread. It's been cutting no problem any other time. Just today, it started to give me a headache. And I thought, okay, well, maybe because it's dirty underneath the, the, the plate there, and I lifted the plate up and cleaned it. It was dirty, though. Oof. The Fat Quarter Shop has the... Includes 42.5 plus 42-inch strips of fabric for... 34 and includes 42 10 inch squares i'm back welcome back rachel oh that's a good deal mary welcome back, rachel. i really like robert kaufman fabrics he always he always does um dainty intricate very very beautiful fabrics as opposed to cave facet, <laughs> we ain't gonna go there. <laughs> Just ain't gonna go there. I like a few of his fabrics, but not too many because I'm not a big fan of the mixed colors like that. But you know, if we all like the same fabric, we would have a shortage of fabric in this world. 
right? Just like I'm not a big fan of doing pineapple squares, and Kathy loves it. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> you wouldn't go that far? I don't even like it. Not a big fan at all. At least you're almost done. Yeah. I'm only doing a quarter of what you're making, lady. And I'm whining. <laughs> and I'm whining over a quarter. Oh, well. Here's another square down. I'm feeling very happy about that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this had to rip all the glue off with it? Of course it did. Yep, it sure did. So there we go. That's it. That's all she wrote, guys. Bye. Garbanzo. We're going to get these done. It's the last thing I do. We're going to do them. Into the bin you go. Okay. That looks about straight to me. This is the only one I have to pin because I have to flip it over. The rest of them I'm not. Do you pin all yours as you put them on, Kat? I stopped. I stopped doing that. Just this first block sewed on. After that, I don't use pins. Yep, I'm brave. Can't be bothered. Well, I'm not a professional at these either, but I have to. I have to use the pin just for that first one because it'll move for sure. You think my block was crooked? <laughs> not that it matters. Oops. That was not cut. I hear teeth snoring. I hear snoring. Martha, Martha. Bye, Mary. Have a good day. Yeah. 
This one's a nice light color. It's pretty. The what? <clears throat> Oh, really? That would be cool if it was paper pieced. It would be easy to do. Yeah. Can't get Martha to sew right now. She has no interest in sewing. I don't think she even knows what she wants to do. We lost Karen? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was pretty devastating, all those tornadoes killing all those people. Yeah. That's the worst kind of tornado to get is one when you're when you're friggin' sleeping. Nobody's aware. So I done these ones backwards. I done seven and eight. No, eight and nine before I did six and seven. They're all the same color, so and they're all on the same row. Don't really matter. Really. What order you you what? Oh, I've done that a few times. I even ruined a whole sheet. There was one that was beyond repair. It just, I sewed the whole thing. I threw the whole thing out. Yeah. Yep. That would be a good idea. Yeah, I'm not making a copy because I could care less. Not something I'll do again. I promise. But you need to finish what you start. That is the goal. Is to finish what I started. And I am. So 10 is first. going to be lazy and peel these papers off after I make the quilt top. I think it's going to give it stability too if I leave the papers on. Oh. I'll be right back. See if I can fix the camera a bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. Is it twisted a bit?
Who's doing the Pokemon Saturday? Anybody in chat? No, I didn't hear it. Well, I had to get myself something to eat. So I got some vegetable thins. So I can have a snack while I'm working. And some cheese, mozzarella cheese. So this should keep me going for a little while. Oh look, it's not leaking. Imagine that. Never get this to go on properly. How does it go on? What am I doing so wrong? Ah, oh. there we go, finally. What happened? You lost what? Power? No. Hold on. I'll turn off my volume. This is on 100. I lost, um, the call dropped on me. And I didn't know why I did. Oh. Well, welcome back, Karen, to the land of the living. <laughs> <laughs> I had to give Miku some crackers too because anything I eat that bird has to eat or or he'll torment Patsy in the living room <laughs> uh. 
Oh, yeah, he will. Don't worry, he does. She does not like Miku. Oh, they know it. For sure they know it. And they think it's funny. Oh, yeah. Now you're not cutting again. Pig head! Kathy. 43? Well, well, and I only made 42. <laughs> so you're, you're a superwoman. You are definitely a superwoman to me. Because I would never. Hey, peanut gallery. Peanut gallery. I'm going to get this done today. I'm not leaving my craft room till this quilt top is put together and the backing is sewed and ready to be quilted. And that's the bottom line. I'm... Patsy can't hear you. She's in the living room. So, ha! Huh. I mean it. I stuck. What? Well, good for you. She sounds so excited about it. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh. What happened? Oh, I'm, I brought the mail back. I'm not doing that. You brought the mail back? Yeah, I ain't doing that. Yeah, well, I tried to tell you that, Jeff. It's dangerous out there. You were just crazy to do that. But at least you tried. Well, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to go tell him I tried. I'm actually going to go fill out paperwork for the uh, Did you get and... anything delivered? Just, just the hotel and the can off. That was it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Yeah, make sure you mute. Okay. They told them, Mr. Brave Jeff, they had a meeting at work and said that the mail was not going to be delivered today because of the snow and the blowing snow that made it impossible to see. And he, Jeff has to go and try and do it. He did not succeed. What, Pat? No, he brought the mail back. He only got two points of call delivered. And he turned around and went back. Well, I can turn that up a little wee bit. I might have turned it down too much. Okay. Well. That's because we're in chat. We're not in the live chat like they are, like Martha is. See if that's any better, Martha. If you go rewatch my videos, you will hear the people on the panel are louder than me. Well, at least I know that works. <laughs> Yeah, 
Oh my God, jeez, how lucky are you, Deborah? Sure is not sunny here today, I'll tell you. It's a storming pretty good. The wind is so powerful right now. It's making it for really hazardous driving. It's, it's blowing snow. And that is not good. Not good at all. It's not something I want to drive in. Because if I was Jeff, I would never have taken the mail out. If they said to me the mail is not to go today or you don't have to go out there today because it's a health and safety issue i wouldn't even have made the attempt usually they tell you you know when it's not too too bad they'll tell you go make an attempt if it's dangerous come back i i would do it then but if it's really bad I told my mailman because my lane turns into an ice rink. Um, don't come down our road when it's that bad like that. There's no sense in him smashing his car against the tree. Wow. Well. You also don't get the snow we get. No, we get ice instead. Yeah. That's just as bad. It's not worse. Well, I don't think, you know, when roads are that bad, I don't think the mail needs to be delivered. No, you're right. And I agree with you. It's not worth your life to be gifts so your mail that you're delivering is not more valuable than your life i don't give a crap what's in the mail but they're they're pretty good about telling you when you can they'll call a meeting in the morning like some people that are strictly business routes they'll probably have to take the mail out because they're usually plowed out because they're open for business, right? Right. But people's personal driveways and walkways, they're at work. They're not shoveled out. So those kinds, of, like me, for instance, my walkway and my stairs are not shoveled. They're just blowing snow on them like crazy. And they won't get cleaned until the snow stops. Because what's the point? You're just going to keep going out there and shoveling and it's just going to keep blowing right back. I read this, Sharon. I read it. What did you read? Miss <laughs> Sharon says, thank you, Miss, Miss Hearing Peanut Gallery, LOL. <laughs> Do you guys hear her now? Okay, now I'm hungry, she said. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm hungry too. That's why I got cheese and crackers, Martha. That I keep forgetting I have here. Oh, I need to go get something to eat. Two more in this Brock Sun. This last four, I don't think it really matters which one goes on first because it's not covering or overlapping anything. Sitting there all by its little self. And 
to do the paper piecing, don't forget to get you one of those little rollers. You'll need that.